Hey everyone, welcome to my channel techbeast.org. So today we are going to see how to toggle an LED. So basically toggling an LED is like hello world in the world of Internet of Things. So when we are uh, learning some C program or Java program or Python, whatever. So we, uh, we would have started learning using um, hello world or by just printing in hello world in the console. So similar to uh, that uh, in the world of Internet of Things, uh, toggling an LED is like hello world. So we can uh, kickstart our uh, hands on session. So in my previous video, we were talking a lot about what is Internet of Things, what is Web of Things and some of the widely used uh, IoT protocols. So from today, uh, my videos will be more into actions. So get ready to uh, get your hands dirty. OK. So before we uh, toggle an LED, what are the prerequisites? So you need a Raspberry Pi. So basically, uh, Raspberry Pi is the uh, device we are going to use uh, in our upcoming projects. So the uh, prefer um, uh, option is buying a Raspberry Pi 3B+, uh, which comes with a decent RAM and inbuilt Wi-Fi, which we can uh, make use of in our upcoming projects. So then an LED of any color. So it can be any of your choice. Uh, then connecting wires, uh, female to female. So in order to connect your LED and your Raspberry Pi. Okay. So, so basically this is going to be the diagram and circuit diagram we are going to connect. So basically you can see uh, my LED. So you can use some other LEDs also in between. I think you may need to put some resistors. You can check out Google. So a lot of uh, connect and connection diagrams are available. So I'm just following this uh, architecture. So just see you are going to connect uh, any of the color. It's RGB. Basically it's a three, uh, three color LED. Uh, so just any, connect any color which you like to GPIO4 and the last pin to uh, ground okay so now uh, they have successfully connected uh, our device so our connector successfully made our setup okay to toggle an led before we um, get into our programming okay then uh, steps we do so what are all the steps we are going to do now so we are going to install node.js and npm in your raspberry pi so so before that uh, you need to set up your operating system so you need to download raspbian uh, image and burn into your Raspberry Pi. So a lot of uh, uh, tutorials are available. So you can just check out and how to uh, burn an image or burn an operating system into an SD card, and you can boot your Raspberry Pi. Okay. Then you can clone the repository. So the source code is already available under this uh, uh, GitHub repository, and you can just clone it. We are going to use uh, that repository. Then the folder structure is uh, toggle LED is the basic folder and index.js is our um, JavaScript file. Okay, so our, our main uh, uh, code is available inside this index.js. Um, then uh, views, uh, view, under the views folder, we will have all of our HTML files. Then um, our public folder got images, JavaScript, CSS, okay, all these kind of stuff. But in this program, we are going to use a uh, very simple only one HTML page, which is index.html, and one image, just an LED's image. And in index.js, uh, we are going to write uh, a code for turning on and turning off our LED using raspi dat dash gpio uh, npm module. Okay, so so let's um, get our hands dirty. So you can see my connection here. I have connected my uh, ground to the ground pin of Raspberry Pi and the GPIO uh, 4 to what color maybe I have connected it to uh, blue color okay so I just connected it to B so it can be any choice so whatever uh, the color you like you can just connect it so as you can see now I'm in my Raspberry Pi's console so so as I said before, I assume that you have uh, downloaded the Raspbian, latest Raspbian image and you have booted up your Raspberry Pi. OK, so before we uh, kickstart our project, so what we need to always do is like we need to update our uh, our, our code. OK, so just by executing, uh, always uh, make sure that all your packages, everything is up to date. So it will take some time. So we just need to wait until the update finish. So let's see how long it's uh, taking. It, it, it takes depend on your internet connection. So always we need to make sure that all the uh, packages are in. Uh, so I'm using Raspberry and Buster. So it's up to date. So then we need to install Node.js. So sudo you can just simply uh, install by typing command sudo apt install uh, Node.js. So uh, so let me see if since I have already installed it, it's not going to install a uh, new version. So in your case, it will take some time and you need to install it. OK, so then we need to install uh, NPM, OK, NPM package. Um, 
so sorry sudo apt install npm and um, i have already installed this uh, npm module too so in your case it will take some time to install it so just uh, click yes and you can um, install this uh, node.js and npm so once you have successfully installed it uh, you can check the node.js version by typing node version and npm by typing npm version okay so so i'm using the latest version 10.19.0 uh, uh, and uh, npm version is 6.13.4 okay so in your case it's up to you so whatever is your choice you can you can just use it so now uh, let me clear the console uh, so what we need to do is we are going to clone the repository as i said before i'm going to clone this github.com techbeast.org toggle and led okay so just go to my console and what i need to do is i am just going to clone it so the command is git clone type it so now um, all the source code is uh, cloned inside this toggle.led so uh, just to change the directory to toggle led you can see all the uh, files available inside this folder so so before um, i just open my visual studio so in order to explain uh, what is inside the code okay so basically the folder structure as i said before um, there are the index.js is our uh, main uh, file so we have use all our logics so how to turn on the led how to turn off the led then um, public folder contains all the public uh, resources like javascript images css so in our case we are not going to uh, we are not focusing on creating a beautiful website so in our case we are just going to toggle an led with simple uh, web application so i'm just going to use an led image and um, this views uh, uh, the views directory contains an index.html file uh, which is a simple uh, web page uh, with some toggle on and off button so you can just uh, turn on and turn off your led okay so so in index.js uh, so then package.json is the modules we are going to use so basically we are going to use express so express is basically a, um, a framework for uh, node.js where it, which, which is very much helpful to to create web servers and you can uh, easily create apis using this express so so then we are going to use um, rpi dash gpio npm module so basically this module is the one which is going to give us the on off capabilities of this led okay so uh, ejs is basically a rendering uh, module uh, for the html based web pages but in our case we are just going to use uh, direct html so i think you no need this ejs module so just express and rpi dash gpio is uh, fine it's good to go okay so uh, so we can see here so i have imported the express uh, module so i have defined my application to use uh, express so so basically uh, we are going to import this path so uh, we need to we are going to specify our uh, a public path uh, in order to uh, um, get get access to all our images and css files okay so so basically uh, then we are going to import this rpi fun uh, gpio um, module okay so this the uh, setup so just a uh, gpio setup uh, 7 i'm going to connect a uh, gpio 4 so gpio 4 but in this case the pin number is 7 okay so gpio setup 7 uh, so gpio output i'm just uh, registering this device as a output so basically the gpio status will uh, turn on or turn off okay it's an output device so then uh, then uh, we are going to uh, register our path uh, so it's a public uh, public path so so when i create an index.html file i no need to specify slash public slash images so since uh, i have defined already pu public uh, path as my default path so i can just directly put slash images slash led.png and all the available resources inside the uh, public folder okay so then uh, so here uh, then uh, we are going to uh, when the page loads so app.get slash so slash is basically the root uh, uh, url so when i uh, just key in my raspberry pi's ip address the uh, browser will respond with uh, with the index.html page okay so this is a, a basic uh, api request for that then i'm going to make a post request in order to turn the led on so api.post slash led slash on and uh, the code to turn on the led is gpio.write 7 to 2 okay so this is the code which makes the led turn on and i'm just going to print something on the console in order to uh make you understand that the device is turning on and turning off okay then and also i'm just going to respond with the 
same index.html page in order to stay on the same page okay so we are just going to copy paste the same uh, code here it's app.post just replace on to off and true to uh, true to false okay so now uh, we have created an api to turn on and turn off the led so then uh, make sure uh, your app is listening on port 3000 so it can be any port of your choice i am just using 3000 if you want you can just leave it like this okay so then uh, let's come to our uh, views index.html so basically this is a simple html page uh, there is nothing uh, special inside so there are some headers and there will be an image and so this i have just created a form okay the form usually um i think you would have came across a lot of forms in html so form uses uh, post request so here i'm just using uh, form action slash led slash on method post okay so when i click the button uh, so basically i declared the button as a submit button and the form method is a post method so the form action is execute slash led slash on uh, post request okay so similarly i'm just declaring for led off so that's also simple so now uh, let's see uh, when i execute this uh, project in raspberry pi how it's going to be but before that i need to uh, install all the packages so you can so it's always good to execute the commands as a root user so okay so that so in case if you have any permission error you can just overcome okay so i'm just going to install sudo npm install so it will take a while so let's wait until the installation finishes so once the installation is done um, you will get all the node modules installed and all the necessary files in order to run our application so so it's going fast so maybe let's uh, wait for a while Mm, okay, I think uh, so. All the necessary um, packages are being installed, so it will take maybe around one to two minutes, depending on your internet speed. Okay, so now uh, all my packages are installed, so I can just uh, check by uh, typing ls. So you can see the folder node modules. So you can see the node modules here. So all our modules have been successfully in, uh, installed. So whatever. You see inside this package dot json file all these modules are successfully in, uh, installed so now in order to uh, run the application what we need to do is it's very simple just type node space index dot js okay so you need to type fully just click the tab command by typing i so it will autofill for you okay so now just click enter so you can see my application running on port 3000 okay so now you can see uh, home slash pi toggle led it's i'm just printing the uh, page so simple led control server started on port 3000 so let's go to our browser and let me just uh, so let me just search this uh, for you so not localhost my raspberry pi's ip is 192.168.1.89 colon 3000 okay so once i type you can see the um, the, the beautiful uh, web page so you can basically toggle and toggle and off uh, on and off your led so you can see i can uh, toggle on and toggle off this led so when i click led on you can see the led turning on when i click led off you can see the led turning off so that's how simple it is to kickstart your hello world journey in the world of internet of things okay so i hope um, you guys learned something new today and uh, so keep watching my videos so we can start learning every day um, some new new things and uh, more interesting stuff are on the way so no need to worry about uh, so all these informations I shared so I, I provide the github links and all the uh, related info in the description so you can check out the uh, description for more details and thanks for watching guys so if you like my channel subscribe it so so let's make technology easy PC for everyone and thank you have a good day